Hello everyone, I am here today to show you a quick video on how to use timer for the first time along with few basic troubleshooting that everybody should know. Well, I did not find this information myself on YouTube and I really wasted about a week trying to troubleshoot the printer. And then finally I decided to do a video myself so that people like me would get help. So yeah, uh, let us start. The first thing you do is when you get your printer, you connect it uh, to your laptop and to the charger. The first thing you'll do is go to timer.com. Uh, then you will go to support, click on downloads. And under the drop down, you will get an option to select your printer type. So the printer type can be the uh, 4XL or label printer or 450 or whatever type of timer you have. So select that, uh, go through the installation process, download everything. And once everything is set up, you will automatically see this particular screen from Dymo that will open up on your PC. So just go ahead and minimize this and then open another tab and quickly go to just write in uh, on top that says uh, Acrobat Reader Download. Then you will see this particular screen like the first link. Click on that link. You will then be able to install now the Acrobat Adobe Acrobat Reader install now. So just go through all the wizard. The entire Acrobat Reader will be downloaded. So the first time when you want to go ahead and print something, what you have to do is quickly open up this particular Acrobat Re uh, Reader wizard. Just go to File, click on Open, and then it will give you an option to open up the PDF. So what happens is whenever you are on a page for Amazon or eBay, there's a place that says click here to download the PDF. So that time you click there and you download that PDF. So once you open Acrobat, you will be able to quickly browse the PDF that you had downloaded. So uh, this is my products uh, label page that I had downloaded from Amazon. So I click, click, uh, quickly click on open and that will open up my Amazon labels sheet under Acrobat Reader. What you then need to do is if you want to print out everything. OK, let me explain here that there are two types of label that Amazon, not Amazon, but uh, Dymo has. One is the shipping labels, which are four into six inches, which is like this big in size. But for these SKUs, for these FN SKUs, you need to have the little ones, which is like two and a half inch into, I think, four inch wide, those ones. But if you don't have those second type of labels, you can still print these um, SKUs on those four into six inch labels, and then you can cut those yourself to put it on your shipment. That's what I have done because I had no time to go ahead and, you know, order the other ones. So what I did is now I have the screen. If I want to print the entire sheet, simply go on print option or else you have to go to edit. Click on take a snapshot. Then you would be able to select this particular barcode if you want few numbers of these. So click on OK or else you can just, you know, uh, maximize it as per your comfort. And once you take the screenshot, you can then click on the printer option and select uh, from the drop down your printer type, which is the Dymo label. Click on properties. Just make sure that it's selected under portrait and front to back because sometimes it change to, changes to landscape and that is when it will not print fine. So you have to always make sure it's under the portrait mode. Click on the advanced section. Here, it's a big list of a lot of shipping labels. Make sure that if you have four into six inches roll, you select this four into six inches paper size. Only then your, your you know, printing things will be accurate, like as per your size of the labels. So select that, click on OK, click on OK here, and then click on print. Now you will be able to see 
that it will quickly print out the label for me. This is one FN SKU. Okay, so this is what I've got. So I will quickly cut or cut this out and then I will put it on the package. So now this is done as far as the printing is concerned. Let me quickly come to the troubleshooting part. It looks like Dymo is a very, uh, you know, it, it messes up a lot. So for that, um, the basic few uh, problems that occur with Dymo is this particular button starts to blink. This is basically to remove the paper if you push this, but that doesn't happen. So it starts to blink or you start getting error that says no uh, paper found or simple error or anything on the screen. If something of that sort happens. Okay, so I was able to reproduce an error. Um, so when I click on the print button, it is saying Look, now here I'll see, a, see an error. Come on. It didn't give me an error this time, but it did not print as well. So what it said is, it's in error mode. Dymo printer is in error mode. If I get something like this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove this particular thing. I will quickly take a card. And I will try to feed this in. Come on, Dymo. Okay. I'm going to do this a couple of times. Probably five, six, seven times. So this is basically the sensor. So that messes up. So make sure that it's towards the left hand side because that is where we have our sensors. Okay, so so let's try this again. So just take the paper again and feed it through towards your left hand side. Mama. Mama, Mama. Bubble weight. Okay, where is it? Come on. Okay, so this is coming. Hmm. Okay, so fix this up. Now close this tightly. This is not correctly set up. Let me pull this again. Look okay, towards the left. Okay, so this is done correctly. Now close this. Now try to print it again. I should print fine this time. Yay, it did. So this way you fix your Dymo label printer issue. So this should normally reactivate the sensors and should work absolutely fine. But if in case it doesn't, then you might want to check out the other settings such as the printer settings. Um, just make sure that, you know, the printer is set to the portrait mode, uh, the correct label writer is selected, um, then you have to check if the paper roll, if it's the bark, uh, like the F and skew rolls of two and a half into four inch, then you have to select that from the drop down. Only then the sizes of the printing would be accurate as per the roll sizes, sticker sizes. So those things you have to check and if nothing works, then just re, uh, like uninstall the Dymo software completely from your control panel and re-download it again. But that should be the last step. Normally, 80% uh, of 
the error should fix by this uh, sensor reactivating you know dimer thing that we just did i hope this is helpful if there is any other questions you have kindly let me know and i will try my best to resolve that i am a new dimo user and i'm sure you are too and i hope uh, i was able to help you out in my little way thank you very much for watching and wish you the best